So Potion Sword Run and Albert Menendez got into it yesterday with some little drama videos. I listened to both videos and there's one really interesting thing I want to point out because it shows how much of a cuck Albert Menendez is and how much he actually doesn't stay true to his own word, right? So here's the thing. Al uh, uh, what Potion Sword Run uploaded a video, Neighborhood Watch or whatever. And he, uh, he featured CPE's video about Albert Menendez, a song that she made, karaoke or whatever, and it was called Five Foot Two Shrimp. That was actually pretty funny, CP. That song, that was actually pretty funny. So, and then Albert Menendez, you know, he's a little crybaby, can't handle the fact that people call him a five foot two shrimp. Because you are. You're a little punk, Albert. You're a five foot two shrimp prancing around the streets of Florida in hot weather. And at nighttime, you turn into Nosferatu, and you're just a vampire ready to leech blood off of anyone else. That's who you are. You have nothing to do, but except just ruin other people's lives. Well, anyways, so Potion Sword Run uploads that, uh, uploads that video, features CPE's 5'2 shrimp. And then Albert in the comments was a little bit mad and whatever, and then he puts a response like, Oh, why are you... Why are you um, featuring cpe's video when she's done this when he's when evil streams has done that and uyamika has done this and all these people have done that why don't you talk about and basically albert is telling potion sword why don't you talk about the other things that are happening and they did instead of just focusing on that right okay and then uh potion sword run makes a response video and he's like yeah he it's his channel. He can respond to it. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to feature negativity. He just wants to cover creativity. Okay, and then he's saying um, he doesn't care about the snake versus the rat stuff. Whatever. It is boring to him. But hey, uh, potion. You can't define what's. Uh, you cannot define what other people think is boring and fun. You have your own thing that you think is boring and fun to you, and other people have other things. Some other people like the drama, it's fun to them, and they think you what you do with the creativity is boring, right? That's just the way it is. So it's a personal preference. Potion doesn't like covering the negative, he just wants to do creative fun. That's why he covered my pianos. The only thing he covered about me was the piano stuff, because it's creative. Okay, fine. And then Albert Menendez, the cuck, the cuck that he is, the loser that he is, he first makes a video his first video is him like, oh, I'm so hurt and, you know, that I'm so hurt that Potion's hurt and I feel sorry and genuine. And then he saw that that didn't stick and then later on makes another video. It's like, okay, here's his roast. Like, why don't you, we're never a straight shooter, Albert Menendez. You always try to suck up to people first because you're a loser. That's what you do. That's Albert's strat Albert Menendez's strategy every time. It's a suck up to people first and try to make their friends to see how much he can get out of friendship. And if that doesn't work, then he turns into like, okay, now you're the enemy. That's the same thing he did with King of All Buttocks. Same thing. He first sucked up to King of All Buttocks, right? And tried to be his friend and tried to be his little cock. And then that didn't work. Then he started that's what then he started roasting. That's what he does every time. Albert Menendez, your tough guy thing doesn't work. I've exposed you, Albert. I have exposed you on YouTube as not being a tough guy, as being a softy. And now when you try your tough guy stuff on anyone else, it's not going to work. Because I've made an example out of you already. People know you're a cuck, you're a loser, you're a simp. You're a simp for dairy strike. People know that. So your whole tough guy thing will never ever work again. So, now here's the interesting thing. And I want everyone to actually think about this. Albert Menendez is telling, is mad at Potion because Potion, he's like, Potion, why don't you cover this thing? Why are you hiding from th that argument? Why don't you cover this topic and this topic and this topic? Okay. Okay, Albert. That's your argument. Meanwhile, while you're telling Potion Sword Run to cover this, 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 and he's not doing it. Meanwhile, Darius Truxton is hiding. The man who started it all, Darius Truxton, is hiding, and he, he even said himself, I don't want to do it anymore, and you guys are accepting that. Hold on. Back up, back up. Albert is mad at Potion for not covering this topic, this topic, this topic. Meanwhile, Darius Truxton ran away for two months, and now has come back saying he doesn't want to cover any drama topic, and you guys allow that? 
If anything, Albert Menendez, you should be directing your anger about not covering topics to Darius. Because he's the one that should be doing this stuff. He's the, he's the one that you need. Now that Darius is like a coward that he is running away because of 2772, that piece of trash, as soon as he got defeated and exposed, that coward Darius Truxton ran away and wants to step back from everything because he knows he got exposed. And he knows he doesn't have immunity anymore. Now that he's gone, Darius, you guys are looking for someone else to talk about this stuff? No. Go tell Darius, talk about this stuff. But for some reason, you guys accepted it from Darius. You allow him to not talk about it. Why? Because you're all cucked to Darius Truxton. You're all cucked to some chinless from one angle, double chin from another angle loser that sits in his dirty, dingy, disgusting apartment in Hamilton, Ontario with his dirty vent that he still has not cleaned. He still has not cleaned to the point where he doesn't even put in his put it in his uh, camera frame anymore. That's how disgusting and filth this guy lives. He flexes a premium futon acting like he's the he's some hot shot. Why don't you guys direct Albert, why don't you direct your anger and frustrations on Darius and say Darius, why aren't you covering these topics? We need you Darius to to help on this side and cover these topics. But no, Albert's going to go and pick on Potion Sword Ron and say, hey, Potion, you're, you're bad for not covering this topic, this topic, this, this. Potion doesn't care. He's not even a main player in this game. I'm a main player in this game. Darius is a main player in this game. Albert and all your little insult armies, you guys are main players. So go after the main players. Go after Darius and say, Darius, you're a punk. Why aren't you trying to... Why aren't you trying to clap back with any rant videos? What's wrong? Why did you all, all of a sudden uh, lose all your self-esteem and all your courage and all your confidence? What happened? Oh, I know what happened. Alt account one came into the scene and he overheard 2772. And once that happened, everything changed for Darius, right? Now all of a sudden reality kicked in for Darius Truxton and he like a coward that he is ran away. So that's what I want to point out to everybody. That's the part that probably most people, most people don't think like that, right? When you, when you, when you want to break down videos and, and see what, the, this is how I think. I break it down like this. I just found it hilarious that Albert's just tough guy to potion sword, talk about this, talk about that. Meanwhile, Darius is hiding. Darius is hiding and you guys all accepted it. And you guys, he, I even heard Albert in his video saying, uh, he's like, yeah, Darius is genuinely trying to move on. Why? Why are you letting him move on? He started this crap, right? You need someone to talk about this crap, right? Get Darius to talk about it. He should be the one right front, right and center talking about this stuff. That's what I'm saying. He should be the one. Stop trying to look for other people now to cover this stuff. No, Darius should be covering this stuff. Talk about it. Talk about the fact that Slotham completely owned Darius' life and now he can't handle Slotham's wrath every single day. He can't handle the fact that his ugly face is in the thumbnails all the time. Talk about that. But no, you're going to pick on someone else and be like, yeah, you didn't talk about this. Oh, I'm Albert. I'm Mr. Tough Guy. Oh, see, I can talk about this rant. This. It took you like a month, Albert, to talk about me. That's how much of a punk you are while I'm still roasting you every single day. While I'm still roasting Darius Truxton every single day, he can, he barely, barely mentions my name. He can't stand the fact of mentioning my name in a live stream, even for a second, because he knows that he's going to have to have to go down that path and try to satisfy his insult army members and try to make fun of me. And he can't, he doesn't have it in himself anymore. So that's hilarious. That's hilarious. And that's what I want everyone, everyone who wants to like, uh, you know, join in on this drama or whatever in the comment section. That's what you should be pointing out. Why are you going after Potion when you should be saying, Darius, say something about this stuff. You need him. But you guys are allowing him because to hide. You guys are allowing him to be a punk. You guys are like, okay, uh, you know what, Darius, you've done enough. It's fine. Okay, we will bother. No, no, we'll, we won't bother you anymore. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Live stream your stupid games and your crappy gameplay. That's a no. You should be telling Darius, get back into it. But you're all punks. Moving on to the next subject. Cyan Razor Cell, aka Riley Ross, a genetic freak, chin like Buzz Lightyear, leeches off his mom. That loser had a uh, live stream yesterday. And the title of the live stream was something like, uh, 
welcome the new snake member darius truxton so what are you def you you're like uh you're 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 defecting or the, you're defecting or something you're going against the army is that what it is didn't you already go against the army like two months ago and then he went back into the army like a cuck and now you're all of a sudden you're going against the army what the hell is going on in your mind riley ross And you guys want to sit there and act and, and think that I'm crazy, right? For doing this. Hey, at least I stick to one. At least I, at least my argument always sticks to one angle, and I just go on this. I, have I changed ever since I uh, turned on uh, Darius Truxton, called him a loser, and all you guys? Have I changed any of my opinions? No, it's been the same, right? You guys, all of a sudden, in the insult army, are always changing your mind. You guys don't know what the hell is going on. Why? Because you guys realize that you're on the losing side, and you don't know how to cope with it. So then Cyan Razor Cell has a stream, you know, welcome the new snake Darius Truxton. And I just click on it to see what's going on. And he's not even talking. He's just playing a stupid game. Why are you even having a title when you're not even going to talk about what's going on? And then I look in the chat. I look in the live chat. And then he got broken dreams that uh, AKA Murray NGOA, that fat cupcake eating diabetic piece of trash that had a little mental breakdown on Twitter. What a loser. What an absolute loser. This is These are the people in the insult army. This is who he is. This guy wants to say on Twitter that he has a mental breakdown and he wants to take a break. What the hell? You're no tough guy, Murray Andre. You're a loser that does fake giveaways. That's what you do. And you're fat and you're diabetic. You disgust me, Murray Andre. Absolutely disgust me. He's in the live chat of Cyan Razor Cell, and they're talking about like games, like, oh, this game is good. They don't even care about the title of the damn stream. You guys aren't even talking about the topic about supposed to be, you're supposed to be technically roasting Darius in Cyan's live stream, and no one's even talking about it. Cyan just put the title up. I don't know what kind of manipulation tactics Cyan is. Remember before when Cyan Razor Cell and Chief Debo were in my comment section saying, Oh, I don't even like Darius anymore. And then right after that, they started going doing uh, army stuff and helping them. And now all of a sudden, again, they're saying we don't like Darius. I don't believe anything these two do. Chief Debo uh, and uh, Cyan Raider Cell, I don't trust them for one bit. Whenever they do something, don't think, oh, that's what the, that's, oh, they finally detracted. No, no, no. I don't trust them for one bit. They always do these things where they try to manipulate your tactics. So, Cyan, I don't trust you, all right? Until I actually hear. Until I actually hear a rant. Remember when you were doing the whole um, Cyan uh, loser? Remember when you were doing the whole award thing? Uh, not the award, the competition for the most, the, the, the worst snakes or whatever, whatever the hell. Like you were doing videos, right? Of you talking. Until you do that, pointing out how much of a loser Darius is here, 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 I don't trust you. And I don't believe you for one bit that you don't like Darius until you do that kind of video. And same for you, Chief Debo. You made a live stream yesterday and you titled it something like, I don't know, Queef is getting beat up. You deleted that live stream and then you titled the one yesterday like Slotham and Queef stop fighting. I don't know. I don't trust you either until you actually make a video. How does it feel, Chief Debo, that you did all this work, wasted all your time because you're jobless, you're a loser. You wasted all your time trying to fight for the army, okay? And then all of a sudden, you try to show Darius like, hey, look at me, Darius. Look, I done this, I done this. And Darius tells you to F off, he doesn't care. How does that feel? Wow. Wow, what a, what a, what a loser. You're Chief Debo, you're made, you were made to look like a loser in front of everybody because Darius didn't even acknowledge what you did and he doesn't even care. That's pathetic, Chief Debo. Absolutely pathetic. And that's what you get for being on the losing side. That's exactly what you get. Until you also make a video where you're ranting and saying, oh, you're a loser here, Darius, here, Darius. I don't trust you either, and I don't believe you either. You're always going to be rats, you two. Cyan, Razor Cell, and Chief Debo. You two are always going to be rats. Truxton Army incel rats every single day. Until you actually come out and make videos pointing that stuff out why Darius is bad. Because your manipulation tactics of trash ain't going to work. And no one's even watching your live stream, uh, Chief Debo. Why are you even live streaming in the first place? Uh, Albert, Albert was asked, uh, what are your thoughts on Chief Debo? And then Albert's like, oh, I don't want to talk about him. Anytime Albert is, Albert Menendez is challenged 
to talk about something. He doesn't. He doesn't want. He he runs away from the a conversation like a coward that he is. And then there's Darius Truxton. This is the hilarious thing. Darius Truxton is now not participating in the drama. He has given up, and all the other guys are taking the heat. While that chinless prick that wears a double XL shirt that says "Property of the Game Changers" on it sits there and just is able to live stream without any of you guys telling him you should be doing this drama stuff and talking about Slotham and talking about this. And you guys are allowing him to friggin' move on while he live streams and you guys are in there watching some loser play a video game. He can't even play video games good. Why are you there watching it? Then what ends up happening is you guys in the live chat are just talking about your own conversations. So then it's true. You guys have no friends in real life. So you need to come online with a bunch of other incels and, and, and have conversation and feel like you have some sort of friendship with everybody. That's the reality. Led by some loser, Keith Elwood, that hired a stripper named Destiny to go with him to the Blue Jays game. Uh, I heard Darius in his live stream saying, oh... I know a spot beside the CN Tower where I smoke weed. Why are you even downtown Toronto, uh, Queef? What, are you going to take Destiny to, to the museum for some social interaction? Is that what you're going to do? What are you going to take, to, what are you gonna take Destiny to the, to the Ripley's, believe it or not, or Aquarium or whatever the hell it is? Are you going to take her there and be like, oh, look, show everybody, look, guys, I have a hot stripper with me. I'm Keith Elwood. Do you even have enough money in your bank account, Keith, for that Presto card? This guy is, he doesn't even have a car. He's, it's not even, he doesn't even have a car. Like, that's fine. He's never driven a car and he's in his mid 40s. That's pathetic. He doesn't even know how it feels to be behind a wheel. Do you even have your license, Queef? Is it a G2, G1? I can't remember if G1 comes first or G2 comes first. I can't remember that. But which one is it? Do you even have a license? You're pathetic, Queef. Your sister thinks you're pathetic. Your sister's husband thinks you're pathetic. Your sister's kids think you're pathetic. That's why you're never invited to any family functions that your sister has because they don't want some dope head coming there dressed like a teenager with a hat that says herbal life on it around their friggin' kids. No way. Listen, Queef, all right? You're always gonna lose. You are a loser. You're never gonna win. I'm always gonna win. I'm always on top. And all you insult armies are gonna keep, uh, insult army members are gonna keep listening to this. And there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet.